Good morning and welcome to the Compassion Hop. I'm Michelle Liptak, also known as Mickelnay, and this hop was put together by Jolene and Lucy of Mixed Media and Beyond. So you're going to want to make sure you join that Facebook group if you haven't already. It's a great group with lots of inspiration and all good things. So you should join if you haven't already. So the theme for our hop is compassion. And the definition of compassion is sympathetic consciousness of others' distress together with a desire to alleviate it. And I love that. I think that um, sometimes I think it's easy to lose compassion when you're suffering yourself. So I think we always need to remember what others are going through or that others are going through things as well. Anyhow, so my idea is I'm going to make some little notebooks and... I'm just using file folders and some ruled paper and I put some stamped script on there and just a little bit of chalk paint and now I'm going to use some bright colors. I like to use bright happy colors when I'm doing little feel good things so these are my happy colors and I'm just going to go in with some paint and some chalk pastels and just put a nice cover over everything. And then I'm going to go in and mask out a little heart and put some feel-good words on it. My family and I, we make blessing bags. So if we see people in need, we can pass those out. And we put, you know, things like food and water and socks and things like that. But we also put some just fun things like decks of cards. And I thought these would be good to add to those just to give someone a little something handmade for them and let them know that, People are thinking of them and people care. So that was my idea. Um, I am not going to talk throughout everything. I'm going to put some music on and then I'm going to come back in at the end. But make sure you check out the next video that's listed down below. And that is by Erin DeCoste. And I know she's going to come up with something great because her art is amazing. And actually all of the artists are amazing. I'm excited to watch myself. So like I said, make sure you check out her video next and then proceed to the next video as you would any other hop. And there's my kitty who is always, <laughs> always in my way. Um, anyhow, I'm going to set this to music and I'll pop back in.
Another broken plate, another called off date We never seem to get it right Another heart attack, words that we can't take back We are the reason opposites attract Once you slam the door on the second floor I regret it all When I think it through I can help the way I feel for you you make me lose my mind like all the time It still feels right Stuck in a endless fight like every night It still feels right Even the words can sting I wanna change a thing Cause without you everything is nothing You make me lose my mind like all the time It still feels right By the phone, hoping you'll answer yours Baby, let's talk until we're fine You've been in bed for days Empty without me, you say Can't you just magically turn up in mine? Then you knock on my door on the second floor And I feel okay We just made it through And I love the way I feel for you Me lose my mind like all the time It still feels right mm -hmm. Stuck in an endless fight like every night It still feels right mm -hmm. Even the words can sing I wanna change a thing Cause without you everything is nothing You make me lose my mind like all the time It still feels right So we are nearing the end of our project and I am just stapling in the ruled sheets. I just made a little guide so that I was sure I had it lined up and it stapled on the fold line. And I'm just using yarn mainly to be able to tie it together and attach a little tiny pen that I have so they can remove that if they want. Um, I did back the inside with just some scrapbooking paper and I didn't show myself cutting that completely because I figured everyone knows how to how to cut the paper but um I mainly just used the pieces as a guide as you can tell nothing is flush and it's just it's just meant for fun um so I'm going to staple that in place and and then I'm going to just add the words, you are loved with a little Dymo labeler. And that is a really old one that um, my husband salvaged from the trash at work and it works. So that's what I used. I love those old labelers. Uh, the worst part is just getting the backing off. So, but I hope you enjoy this hop and I hope that it inspires you to create something either for someone else or just opens up your heart and mind to have compassion for what others are going through. I think that's so important during these times right now is just to remember that everybody has 
something that they're dealing with and a journey that they're walking as well. So, and I know that can be hard when we're dealing with our own stuff, but it's really important. And I think it's what's going to make the world a better place. Um, I'm just tying the ends on the yarn. So if it does stay on there, they don't come unraveled. And I apologize for all the times that my hair or head are in the shot, I guess, I don't know, sometimes I'm into the art that I'm creating and I don't check the viewfinder. So this is pretty much the end of my project. And like I said, make sure you go ahead and check out all the other videos. And this is a weekend celebration, so it should be a lot of fun. And we would love it if you subscribed and gave us a thumbs up and asked any questions or comments below. Thank you again. Have a great weekend. Bye.